Hi students, welcome to another lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at enlargement and more specifically, we're going to be looking at enlargement on a coordinate plane. Now, we have done an introduction to plotting points. If it is that you're still having issues plotting points, drawing your axis, labeling your axis, I suggest that you watch the video that I'm going to link above on graphs, on introduction to graphs. You're going to need to understand how to plot points, etc. before you proceed with this video. All right? Good. Now, we know about reflection. And we know about translation, because you, you should have done that already. Now, we're going to be talking about enlargement, which is a different kind of the graphs, graph transformation. Now, from the previous activity, you should know by now that an enlargement, when you perform an enlargement on an object, it increases the size of that object. But there are some cases where when you perform an enlargement, it decreases the size of the object. And so we're going to look into that as well. Now, in today's lesson, we're going to be enlarging about an origin, about the origin, the point zero, zero. So you're, you must be wondering, what is Mr. Hamilton talking about? What's Miss Hamilton talking about, about enlarging from a point? It just means the starting point. So whenever you, you, you have an image and you want to enlarge it, you always have to have a starting point. All right? But before we go into plotting our points, I just want to point out that there's two things. Two things that you need to know before you perform an enlargement. You need to know what a scale factor is. And based on the screen, the scale factor is the quantity that multiplies another. All right. And as I said before, the scale factor can increase or decrease the size of an object. And remember, the object is the shape that's being enlarged. And the image is the shape after the enlargement. All right. So th those are um, two things that I need to point out. And I did say that we're going to enlarge from the origin. Now, how do we do that? Firstly, students, you need to draw up your graph. Draw a T-shaped graph. As I said before, if you don't know what that means, watch the video above. Draw the T-shaped graph. Label your axes. Use one centimeter to represent one unit, as you see on my graph here. That just means that for every square, you count up by one. So the first square here would be one, then two, then three, then four. So each one of these squares represents a centimeter. And each time you go up, you count by one you count up you increase by one and you do the same thing for your y-axis so use one centimeter to represent one unit on both axes so draw a t-graph use a straight line students to draw your graph now so you've drawn your graph and you've written on your scale you've numbered your axes now is the time to plot the points so we're going to plot the point that we're going to enlarge first. So let's see if we can get the coordinates of that point. All right. So the coordinates of the object is A, 1, 2. So I'm going to plot the points, 1, 2. Then the second point B is 4, 2. And then the third point C is 4, 4. As I said, students... You need to watch that video. Then I'm just going to connect the dots from A to B to C back to A. All right. Let me show the labels so you know what I mean. All right. So we have our object. And we want to 
um, enlarge, sorry, this object from the origin. That means that we can have some broken lines here. So, so we're starting here and we, 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 we did, and, 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 and we're going to enlarge from the origin. All right. No, to do that, students, is easy. Remember that thing that I told you that we, 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 we are going to use to multiply? That thing that we call the scale factor? Yes. Whenever you are enlarging any object from the origin, as long as it is from the origin, we can just multiply each coordinate by the scale factor. Now, in this question, let us try a scale factor of 2. Let us multiply each number, each digit in the coordinates by 2 and tell me what you get for the object. Tell me the coordinates of the image, sorry. If it is that you multiply each number in the coordinates by 2, you are supposed to get the coordinates of the image. And that is as easy as it goes whenever you're enlarging a shape. So when you get those coordinates, you plot them on your graph. And then that would give you the image. And you're supposed to get a bigger shape. So let's do that. All right. So, I did not write it in. I want you guys to try it. So, if I multiply 1 by 2, I'm going to get 2. If I multiply 2 by 2, I'm going to get 4. So, that's A prime. That's the, the coordinate of the image. A prime is supposed to be 2, 4. B prime is supposed to be 8, 4. C prime is supposed to be 8, 8. So, let us see if it's... If it's if, exactly as it seems. All right, if we're multiplying by two, the scale factor is two. Let me go ahead, let me just use the technology available. All right. All right, so if it is that we say the scale factor is two, wow. Let's look at A prime, the coordinates of A prime, that's the image. It looks like an A apostrophe, I'll call it, we call it in mass A prime. The coordinates of A, let's look on it, it is 2, 4. Wasn't that what we said the coordinates of the image would be for A, A prime? Yes, because we multiply the coordinates of A by 2. Let's just look at B prime, B prime is... 8, 4, which is twice the measure of what B is. All right? You see that, students? So enlarging from A, let me just change the color of that object. All right, so you can tell them differently. So here we can see that the image is twice as big as the object. Now, let's change the scale factor. Let's change the scale factor. And we're still enlarging from the origin. If it is that we're going to use a fraction, let's say a half, what do you think we should do? If it is that we use a half as the scale factor, what do you think we should do and what do you think the coordinates of the image would be? A half, we're going to multiply each number in the coordinates by a half. Or, so, or we're dividing by two. So when you multiply something by a half, it's the same thing as dividing by two. So we're dividing the one by two and the two by two. What do you think that gives? If I divide 1 by 2, that gives me half. And if I divide 2 by 2, that's supposed to give me 1. Not true? Good. So that means that A prime is going to be half 1. 
Now, remember earlier in the video that I said that sometimes when you perform an enlargement, it shrinks an object. This is what I mean. Whenever the scale factor is a fraction, like half, quarter, or a decimal, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, the image is going to be smaller than the object. Now, let's look what I mean. I'm going to use a half. I'm going to use a half as my scale factor. This is the object here, light pink, and I'm going to show you what the image is going to be like. A half is the same thing as 0 0.5. Are you now seeing the objects? Are you seeing that the object is smaller? Let's look on the coordinates of A prime. The object the coordinates of the object are the coordinates of A are 1, 2. A prime, if we can estimate here, it's halfway between the 0 and the 1, so it's half. And the Y value is 1. So the X value for A is 1 and the Y value is 2. So for A prime, the X value is going to be half of that, which is a half. And y value is going to be 1. Let's look on the coordinates for b. b here, the coordinates, the x value is 4 and the y value is 2. That means that if it is that we enlarge by a scale factor of a half, the coordinate is going to be divided by 2 or cut in 2. So the coordinates of b prime is 2. 1, 2 for the x, 1 for the y. Finally, the x and y values for point C. The x value is 4, the y value is 4. So for C prime now, that value is going to be divided by 2 or cut in half. So the value becomes 2, 2. All right. Let's do one with a negative. Let's do one with a negative. If it is that I multiply by a negative number, let's try multiplying by negative one. Multiply both the x values and the y values in each coordinate by negative one and tell me what you should get. The coordinates of the image A prime, the X value would be negative 1. Awesome. And the Y value would be negative 2. And you're going to do the same thing for the coordinates for B and C. Multiply the X and Y values by negative 1 and tell me what you get. That's the scale factor. Let's see what happens. You get the same shape, the same size, but it is flipped. Now, when you multiply by a negative scale factor, students, what happens is that the shape flips to the other side of the graph. So, if it is our... Um, it seems as if it's reflected. So it's in quadrant one here, so it's flipped and come over into quadrant three. So it's like you flip it over. All right, let's try multiplying it by negative two. Let me go. We're using the scale factor negative two. What do you think will happen? Since two is two, it's going to become larger, but it's going to flip to the other side. So negative 2, let's look on it. Sorry, it was out of focus. I apologize for that. So the object is up here, <laughs> a bit out of focus, and the so the object is up here and the image is down here in blue. You see how much bigger it is? 
So when you multiply by a negative scale factor, it's almost the same thing as multiplying by a positive scale factor. So the scale factor is 2, it's going to be bigger. However, if it is negative, it's going to flip to the other side of the graph. It's going to be in a different position. Compare multiplying a scale factor of minus 2 to 2. That's where the image would be if it's a scale factor of minus 2. But if it's a scale factor of just 2, let's change our scale factor to 2 and see what it looks like. It's 2, you see? Both the image and the object are on the same side of the graph paper. They're on the same side, it's just that one is bigger than the other. And here we can compare what it would look like in negative, if the scale factor was negative two, it would be bigger, the image that is would be bigger, but it would be on the opposite side of the graph. Now let's do a recap, students. Let's do a recap. Whenever we're multiplying, whenever we're enlarging about the origin, the easiest way is to multiply the coordinates of the object by the scale factor. If the scale factor is positive, you will get an image on the same side as the object. If the scale factor is negative, you will get an image on the opposite side. Like here, you'll get an image on the opposite side of the object. And if the scale factor is a fraction, or a decimal, you are going to get a shape or you're going to get an image that is smaller than the object. So in this case, let us use a half. Here we see the shape is half the size, or should I say the image is half the size of the object. So that's a quick rundown, students. I apologize for some of the um, glitches. Some things went out of focus. All right. So that's the rundown of enlargement. We can use a scale factor when enlarging from the origin. We use the scale factor to multiply both the X and Y values in each coordinate to get the coordinates of the image. We use a scale factor to multiply each x and y value of the coordinates of the object to get the coordinates of the image and we then plot the points on the graph. If the scale factor is positive, the image will appear on the same side of the object, the same side of the shape. If the scale factor is negative, we are going to get an image on the opposite side of the shape. And if the scale factor is a fraction, we are going to get an image that is smaller than the shape or, the, or objects. All right? All right, students, this is how we perform enlargements about the origin. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if this video still did not make it clear for you, type it in the comment section below so that I can go ahead and <laughs> go back to the drawing board and do something in, um, additional so that you can get it. All right, thank you so much for watching and take care.